welcome guys and welcome back to another video in our channel in our video today we are going to do another tactical breakdown of the Mauricio Pochettino preseason game Mauricio Pochettino seems to be making numerous changes at Chelsea these changes are seen to benefit Chelsea in their style of play we've discussed various formations that Mauricio Pochettino can employ at Chelsea but from the preseason game, he used two formations, the 4-2-3-1 and the 3-4-3. Though the 4-2-3-1 gave him success, and it looks like it will be the formation that he will stick with. But one key facet that we have seen in a Pochettino system is building from the back. Building from the back is one of the key strengths that a team playing possession-based football should employ. This building from the back is a key facet amongst top clubs in Europe and we are going to discuss how Chelsea will be building from the back and what is essential for this style of play. We, before we continue this analysis, I'd likely like to kindly ask you to like this video, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. First of all, Chelsea need a ball-playing goalkeeper. Kepa has the ability to play the ball quite well with his feet, picking long balls and short passes together with his centre-backs. This is something that Chelsea need in a goalkeeper. The second player is Thiago Silva. He's experienced, excellent on the ball, and he's one of the players who can lead Chelsea's backline by directing players on where to move. The injury of Badiashile and Fofana might see Levi Colwell starting as the left centre-back and he will play a key role in ensuring Chelsea build their play effectively from the back. The other player who Chelsea can heavily rely on is Enzo Fernandez. His excellent passing and distribution will be key in ensuring that Chelsea build quite well from the back. So how does Chelsea build from the back? In the game, we saw Chelsea drawing opponents high up the pitch in a press. This was aided by the two centre midfielders by one dropping close to the goalkeeper to give Chelsea numerical superiority during build-up. The goalkeeper is tasked to act as a third centre-back while the full-backs are tasked to play high and wide. These quick combinations with the dropping forwards and the number 10 who roams freely behind the opposition midfield line is a key facet of a Mauricio Pochettino's system. Pochettino's team emphasizes on rapid passing and quick interchange of positions to enable them to confuse opponents so that they can easily open them up. Unlike most positional play teams, Pochettino's team focuses on quick shift in positions and rapid counter-attacks. This is one excellent example of how Chelsea will be playing next season as they build from the back. From this clip here, you can see how Santos drops close to the two centre-backs and the goalkeepers to give his team numerical superiority. The position of Gusto and Mark Cucurella indicates that both fullbacks are starting in high wide positions where they can receive the ball and also the position of the dropping forward Raheem Sterling and Chukwemeka playing as a number 10 where they easily launch quick and rapid movement. This is something that we did not see at Chelsea under the management of Graham Potter. Chelsea's excellent and quick transition from defense to attack and quick and attempting long shots from outside the box is a key example of how Chelsea are progressing this season. Another thing that should be noted is the presence of Jackson. Jackson showed in the game that he is an excellent striker playing with his back to goal, linking up play and being quite fast. Chelsea are looking to be moving in a positive trajectory. In training, Chelsea have also emphasized the use of employing rondos, which enables them to improve their passing game. Quick passing and quick interchange of positions is something that Mauricio Pochettino fames for his team. This is added with 
clear training drills that ensure players are fit and ready to begin and commence the new season. Pochettino's emphasis on training and excessive use of ball prog progression and possession is something that Chelsea will be akin to playing next season. We expect to see a Chelsea that is more exciting, more scintillating, a team that is not afraid to invite opponents to press them high up the pitch, a team that is able to build effectively from the back, beating the opposition press and creating for themselves spaces high up the pitch where they, are, they can easily exploit and destroy opponents through rapid attacks. Another key as aspect that we've seen in this Pochettino system is the movement of players and the position of the high and wide fullbacks who will be able to give Chelsea width and outlets when under pressure. The position of the holding midfielder is also a key position in this build-up phase since he's the hub in which the team moves. An excellent ball-playing goalkeeper complemented by two ball-playing centre-backs and a dropping-in midfielder who is excellent on the ball with a staggered system of wide fullbacks and the second number eight is going to give Chelsea a lethal ball progression ability. If you've enjoyed this video, you can leave your comments down below and explain to us more on how you expect Chelsea to be progressing with the ball from high up the pitch. Give us more comments and ask any questions that you'd like to be answered. If you stayed with us till the end of this video, thanks for watching. Have a nice time.